Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I'm here with my Tom Topple TBR and kind of a currently reading update slash call out. So Sam from Thoughts on Tomes is the creator of Tom Topple, which is all about reading big books, books over 500 pages. I will link her announcement video down below where she talks about all the challenges and the other co-hosts and everything. So the readathon runs from June 29th through July 12th, and it does overlap a little bit with the uh, readathon that I am co-hosting, which is Retelathon, and I will also link my announcement for that down below in case you guys haven't seen that yet. But that's that's actually okay with me. I really enjoy readathons and I actually really enjoy kind of overlapping challenges or overlapping books. So the first book I hope to read or finish for Tom Topple is The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. This translation is by Jacques Leclerc and I am currently buddy reading this with Trisha from Tell Her a Story and we're kind of doing it throughout the month so we definitely will still be reading this when Tom Topple starts and I'm really enjoying it so far but this is 600 pages? It's 598 pages and this is for the challenge to buddy read a tome and to read an adult novel. Another book I would like to read is Flora's Dare by Isabo S. Wills. This is the sequel to Flora Segunda, and I think I talked about this in a previous TBR, which obviously I did not end up reading the book for that. Um, this is a really hard book to explain. It's kind of Aztec-inspired mythology, and there's also, like, Mexican and Spanish influences, and I really, really enjoyed the first book. It's really, like, strange and magical and... It's just, it's, it's such a hard series to explain. And that's actually one of the reasons I want to read this book soon, because I'm worried that I'm going to forget some of the intricacies of the plot from the first book, and I did really enjoy it, so I definitely want to continue with this one. And then finally, I would also like to get to Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. This is the first book in The Expanse series, which is an adult, I think, space opera type of science fiction book. I've heard really amazing things about it. I've heard it's really, like, fast-paced and exciting and just like a fun time. So I'm really excited to get this. I've had this on my TBR for a while. This would also count for an adult tome or a book in a series. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get to all three of these. I definitely will be finishing The Three Musketeers, but I just kind of want to give myself options. I might end up picking up another book that is not even on this TBR. We'll just, we'll see how the reading mood strikes me. And this leads me to the second part of this very short update video. Basically, I am currently reading five books at the moment, according to Goodreads, which is starting to stress me out because I feel like I'm not actually making progress on any of them or on most of them. I'm also just calling myself out because I need to stop doing this, and I'm hoping that by telling you guys what I need to finish, I will hold myself accountable and actually do it. So the first of the five books I'm in the middle of is The Three Musketeers, and I'm not as worried about this one because Trisha and I are actually doing pretty well on our read. I'm on page... 406 out of 600 about, so doing pretty well, but this is just something that it's hard for me to read like a big chunk at a time, so that's I think why it's taking me so long. Then I'm also currently reading The House of the Four Winds by Mercedes Lackey and James Mallory. I picked this up ages ago for Scallywagathon, and I still haven't finished it. I'm not even halfway. I think I'm like a third of the way through, and it's not a bad book. I like how it's written. The premise was interesting. It's it's a little bit slow, like, in the beginning, like, because you're kind of waiting for everything that the synopsis spoils for you. You're kind of waiting for all of it to happen for what feels like a long time. But it's like, this is not... it's not an awful book. It's just for some reason taking me a long time to get through, and I, also, I think it doesn't help that the chapters are super long. I am also currently rereading Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fantaski. This is for the Booktube Rereadathon and the challenge for... Was it last month or this month? I'm like a month behind. Um, was to read was to reread a book that is a guilty pleasure. And even though I don't really believe in like guilty pleasure books, like you like what you like, and just everyone should not give you a hard time about it. But this, I guess, would kind of count. Like a lot of people consider paranormal romance kind of a guilty pleasure. I might have to do a whole video on this because my thoughts are very different this time around. And next, I have Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. Uh, I'm about halfway through this one. I picked this up like two days ago, and I really shouldn't have because I was already reading four books at that point, and I knew I should not read another, but look what happened. But I'm actually, I'm reading this one pretty quickly. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a very dark kind of Russian folklore-inspired story, and I am really liking it. The writing is just incredible, and it's so... It's so messed up and twisted, but I'm really enjoying the world building and a couple of the characters as well. And finally, I have Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Jamie Ford. I have made almost no progress in this book. I don't remember the last time I picked it up. I've been reading this, I think, for more than a month at this point. Someone at work lent it to me and because they knew I really enjoyed reading and we were talking about historical fiction and I just, like, it's okay. I don't think this is the kind of 
historical fiction I ever would have picked up myself because it's like it's very very much dependent on like flashback scenes. I'll, obviously I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up when I eventually finish this but this is just another kind of like mm, it's fine. So that is my tentative TBR for round six of Tom Topple and also all of the books that I am currently reading. You guys should let me know in the comments if you are joining in for Tom Topple or for Retelathon. Also let me know if you guys are like a one book at a time kind of person or if you like to have options because I used to be like only one book at any given moment but as you can see that's not the, not the case anymore. I like to have options now which is fine until it gets to the point where you're reading five books at once and it really stresses you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video and I'm off to hopefully actually finish a book. <laughs> and I hope you love the next book you read as well. Bye!